Yeah, yeah, I noticed that Yan was uh, really improving his life with his yoga and everything. So uh, I thought that was great. Um, he's dressing well, like, uh, I don't know, the kind of guy you'd see at a library or something. Um, so I was like, I could maybe take a hint from this. The guys at Sherby downtown, they're also serious and they're doing, they're doing well. So I was like, I could improve myself. I should be creative like them. So uh, I've been working on my first novel. Um, it's coming to, it's like a coming of age tale of, uh, of monkey civilization before, uh, before humans walk the earth. Um, working title, Georgie the Monkey. Because um, as we all know, um, Georgie is a very popular name uh, with monkeys. They, uh, they say that 30% of monkey children are named Georgie. So I was like, Georgie the monkey might be cliche, but uh, you know, it's true to life, real facts. So, um, so yeah, it's about Georgie and uh, comes from the wrong side of the monkey tracks, you know, a lower class monkey family. Um, so he's like, uh, everybody looks down on Georgie, you know. Uh, he gets a lot of feces thrown at him at school. You know, like as my, every, you know, monkeys throw feces. Um, but so yeah, he's really he's really got the shitty end of the monkey stick. Um, and uh, so basically, goes through like 12 years of his life, really mean and like totally beat upon and hated. And then like he's like fuck these guys, and he just starts thinking to his monkey head. You know, he thinks in his head, and uh, realizes that you know he's got some ideas. So he starts using rocks and like sticks to uh, as tools in a way you know like, oh look there's a nut i'll break it open with this rock he's like whoa nobody else is doing this it's pretty awesome um and like he keeps it for himself for a while because you know he wants to just you know hone his skills with like hitting things with sticks and like throwing rocks you know in a useful manner so he does that for a bit and then he shows like this guy one of his friends yeah like i don't know i'm still working on this thing i'm like 100 pages in but um so he shows one of his uh, monkey friends uh, what he can do with rocks and sticks, you know? And his monkey friend's wicked impressed, like, wow, that's thinking outside the box, Georgie. Uh, you know? And, uh, because <laughs> that's how monkeys talk. They talk like for their 1930s gangsters. They're like, well, Georgie. <laughs> Well, oh, Georgie, that's some cool shit you got going. Anyways, so uh, Georgie and his buddy, they got this thing, and then, you know, obviously, like everything does, word catches on with the other monkeys. And, uh, and, and finally, they're like, wow, look at, look at what Georgie can do. And, like, nobody knows how to do it. They don't have the in ingenuity that Geor Georgie does, you know? Uh, you know, so now everybody likes Georgie. And, you know, Georgie's feeling good, and he's got these people that want him around because of his tool, you know? So Georgie gets a pretty good name around, around, around the jungle. And, uh, you know, eventually, uh, there's big people looking for Georgie. Like, hey, Georgie, you can really help this monkey culture of ours with your with your rock hitting and, and stick swinging, and teach us all how to do it. So Georgie pretty much ends up going along with this, but in a plan to better his financial monkey situation, buying the best bananas, uh, getting the best fruit. So eventually, Georgie pretty much becomes everything that he hated. And the fact that where once he was uh, uh, a beaten, disregarded young monkey, uh, and, and everybody hated him, and, and he was the shun from the monkey town. Now he's he's fucking these people over because he's got these ideas, and he's pretty much profiting off of the fact that once he was hated, and uh, and it says a lot about monkey culture, and uh, as well as it does about about human culture. So yeah, Georgie the monkey, um, it's going to be out in, by Penguin Publishing. Uh, we have a publishing deal, um, all signed. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Aside from writing books, I've also been uh, uh, reading about bears a lot and, and, and really pretty much uh, going into bears. Uh, I heard a bear at my dad's place in Austin in the woods and I was like, wow, these bears, apparently they're around, you know? So uh, I started looking up on the bear. I'm trying to study the bear as an animal. And uh, so I've been watching a lot of Yogi Bear and like the the relationship between him and Boo Boo, I think pretty much says a lot about how bears live. And uh, one thing I learned is that uh, as long as you're not a forest ranger and there's not a picnic basket around, you probably will be all right around the bears. Um, also, bears uh, seem to like honey a lot, so I never carry honey when I'm in the woods. So these are all good tips that I've learned about bears, and uh, I'd like to study them a little more closely. So, pretty much what I've been up to.